Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you all back here to part four. Uh, first of all, I want to try to make this as quickly as possible. This will make the conclusion of our four-part series of the cyber warfare that all this all this points to Israel being the masterminds of these cyber threats. Okay. Now, I'm showing you right before your faces right now on your screens the cybersecurity or is this spying? Where Huffington Post puts out a special report saying cybersecurity or is this spying? admitting that the Department of Defense is hiring hackers, okay, as well as Israel. Well, I've already said many times, the United States is not being controlled, nor is it being ran by American citizens. The United States has been infiltrated by the very same people that admitted back home in Israel, in the, home, in the motherland of Israel, admitted hiring hackers. I believe American Israeli controlled United States is now putting to work IDF agents inside of our government not to spy on China, not to spy on, on uh, England, but to spy on you and I. Okay, you and I. I believe that this is not just only to spy on us, I believe that they're also trying to get us all locked into one massive computer gridlock. Spying on our emotions, on our behavior patterns, and taking a facial recognition recording of our expressions and of our and as a way of trying to see who would be the enemy, eye retina scanning, and all this. Get your tin hats out. This is the real world, ladies and gentlemen. It's really happening. It's not about a tin hat paranoia. These people are perpetrating the game. Look at it. How it's all played out. How they and the words that they choose to to describe this cybersecurity. Cyber warfare, cyber threat. Oh, and this could this can be the cyber Armageddon where everybody can go broke. All your cars will not be able to operate because of the the viruses that they put and plant into your computer systems that shut down on your all of your online computer servers that are attached to your automobiles. Okay, this is all like I have shown you the documents. I have literally shown you that. If they think it, they are doing it, and that sh and I've shown you the documents that they're thinking it, and they even are even announcing it wide open, saying that these are the new threats. Now we have this other threat where they already started implementing cyber attacks on banking systems worldwide. Greece was one of them, and uh, Cyprus is another. South Korea just recently in March. Okay, March the 21st, and just a month before that, it was Cyprus. Well, that's not all. Also, Chase Banks came under attack with cyber warfare. And they were trying to make it look like that these attacks were coming from, well, you see it, this guy right here uh, called Anonymous, these groups right here, okay, trying to make it look like it was them. Then they said it was China hackers that were in China, blah, blah, blah. Well, we found out that these China hackers do not exist except for that was created through an imaginary uh, phantom by Israel. We found out that the identity of these people did not exist other than the identities that they used was actually the zip codes or postal codes in Tel Aviv that they used to identify the, and to help create this phantom enemy out of China. Then they say that Anonymous is the uh, is the new enemy. Well, this is my thought, and I'm going to say this real quick before I get on to the rest of the news. This guy's anonymous. I said already in the last previous videos, these people are not a part of us. They do, They came out of nowhere, and they have now have global status as a new world threat, and these people are not truthers. They do not support the truth movement, and they do not support our ideology. These people are infiltrators. These people are definitely hired and put into position as agents by the IDF. I have said this numerous of times. First of all, concentrate on how fast they have become uh, celebrities. Global celebrity threat. They, they became a phenomenon overnight, basically. Just like the Tea Party came out of nowhere and became a phenomenon overnight. And everybody thought that they were a part of us and they were speaking for us and become a voice for us, but were mainly being infiltrated by agents and government political uh, lefties and liberals to help push the agendas of the global elites for Israel.
but their growth is a, is a fact that they are a fraud. Okay, now that these people do not represent is by the way that their celebrity status has grown. I've been doing this for years, and I've got only two hundred, about two million viewers, almost three million viewers. And but it took many years to get this many viewers. It didn't take; it just happened overnight. And I have five thousand subscribers on my YouTube, and not only talking about how many other people watch my stuff that have uploaded my work onto their personal and private video uh, websites. But it shows you that this was accumulation of all of the work that I have put together and established to make videos. But it took many years to get that celebrity status. Not that I was looking to be famous. I didn't want to be famous, to be honest with you. But I simply wanted to get the information out there. Nor am I jealous that these guys have more attention than I do. I'm simply, I don't want the kind of attention these guys got, in fact. But... The thing is, is that it shows you that these are infiltrated agents. Now, we're going to move on, and I'm going to show you more facts that Israel is the mastermind behind their spying on the United States and setting up this and creating this illusion of cyber warfare threats because they're not the only ones on board with this threat, like I have said and expressed to you in the last few uh, videos that I made in this series. All these nations, 143 nations, are on board with this cyber security acting. And that's what I call it. It is nothing but an act that is being played out as a reality. They're stealing your money intentionally to collapse the way of life on purpose, to sabotage and to set us up against one another. I have said numerous of times, China is not controlling Israel. It is the other way around, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the giant who controls the little man. It is the little man who is the giant by his own secrecy, who controls by manipulation the giant to become the soldier, the warrior, the defender of the elite society of the Kabbalah, the protocol of Zion. These people master the mind of thinking and how to manipulate our society. Continuing on, you remember this guy right here in the New York Times posted this guy here was arrested for what he was arrested for spying on the american people ladies and gentlemen i'm going to show you all these articles right here israel beauty queen next in line to press obama to release spies obama visits israel renews efforts to free spies israelis to press obama on spying israel an appeal for a spy release israel to press u.s to free spy jonathan pollard israeli floats and settlements deal involving pollard the wise guy, the spy, the Ponzi prince, okay, the, and also the ex-engineer of for army is accused of spying for Israel in the 1980s. This guy was in the military, and another one accused of the same thing. Okay, Israel found spies' data irresistible. Israel denies 100% any spying against the U.S., which it calls cherished allies. Now, these guys simply are filthy, pathetic liars. Just like they lied about their, their treatments and their ill treatments to the Palestinian people. Oh, we didn't do nothing. We were provoked. But they won't admit to you that they're the ones who hired, who created, who established, who put the damn weapons in the hands of Hamas. The Hamas group is not Palestinian, ladies and gentlemen. Although they speak the language very fluently, but they are not Palestinians. They were put there by the Mossad of Israel to make it look as if there was enemies uh, that sit amongst the Palestinian people of Gaza, firing upon the people inside of Israel to justify the elimination. Are you listening carefully? The elimination of all Palestinian people out of existence. That was the whole goal and the plans of, the, of these people. But anyhow, let me go on real quick. Israeli spying governments, okay, again, again, who is Jonathan Pollard hackled, okay? This shows you that Israel has been spying for years. It's not the first time. Netanyahu, to make formal requests to convicted spies released, okay? Even Netanyahu wants a spy to be released, okay? Again, more reports, okay, this is where I showed you this. I'm sorry for showing it twice. Also, now, they also go on to admit that 
that here Netanyahu goes and visits Pollard in before he was in office, goes and visits Pollard and says to Pollard, and this is now this information has been removed from all media. I can't find one hard evidence that this information actually took place now, but it did take place. He did say this to Pollard. He said, quote, once we squeeze all we can out of the United States, it can dry up and blow away. Israeli Crime Minister Bibi Netanyahu. This is what he said to Pollard when he visited him in 2002. And once we had, quote, found that information, they removed all information. This was the actual information. And you will see the transcript is removed. Okay? You'll see they deny, they deny, and everything you, you try to find on this subject, on this quote, is gone. All except for truth movement rooms or truth movement sectors that have uploaded this information. And it shows you more evidence that these people were spying on the United States. Now, ladies and gentlemen, more proof. Homeland Security Insider, and I'm going to enlarge that so you can all see it real clear. This is from the Natural News. Homeland Security insiders from the Federal Reserves are claiming orchestrated collapse of U.S. dollars has begun. April the 2nd, 2013. Now, this is also coming from the Canadian uh, Free Press that released it. And you look down here. Federal Reserves recently stoked more than 25% American savings and investments with quantitative ease easing scams. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it just plain outright blank to all of you. We are being screwed big time. And I see 5 billion people being led to their graves under a fraudulent claim. And I'm, not, and I'm going to make a special video because everybody thinks that, that, that the Christianity is the answer. And they're all trying to convince me to go back to Jesus and all this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to touch on a subject that you've never heard me say before. And I'm going to and I'm going to highlight and make a special video on religion and how religion and the Bible all play the role exactly in the ideology and the way that the Kabbalah wants you to believe and wants you to be and wants you to be programmed to believe you know, to believe in. I'm going to make a special video, especially about religion, and it's going to be nothing but focused on that subject. And I want everybody to look me straight in my face about my thoughts, my beliefs under that subject. Okay? And I will explain to all of you why I refuse to believe in Jesus and why I refuse to believe in the Bible. And why I refuse to believe in the religious system that these people created. I will make it very clear to all of you on my next video that I make. I'm going to make another video here after this video segment. This, uh, this ends and concludes part four and, co and concludes the, uh, the series of the four-part series. But I will make a video that's concerning the breaking news of North Korea and my thoughts and opinions on that subject and what this new threat of war looming in the air right now. I'm going to make sure that all of you have a clear understanding as to my thoughts on it. I do not uh, believe that it's going to be anything that they claim it to be. I don't believe it's going to be a war, and I think it's too early. I think that they're they're doing this as a distraction because their next agenda is to make an attack on 30 different banks inside of the United States, as I have shown you in all of my other videos. Remember I told you there was a threat of 30 different banks that were supposed to come under attack, okay, sometime this spring. Well, I found it's quite convenient that they're having this attack, but then this attack warnings and then you have this meeting that's taking place with all these cyber warfare companies that are pushing for these new cyber securities are having a meeting in Beijing on April the 7th and then there's a threat that Anonymous is going to attack Israel and several different nations around the world with new hacking systems against their, uh, against their computer systems and all happening all at the same time that this war looming over in North Korea exactly in the springtime I think that this is simply a distraction, and I will cover that in my next video. By saying that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to end this at 15, at 15 minutes. So I'm going to wish you all well, and thank you all for watching these four-part series. Until this next video, I will catch up with you all then. Thank you again for tuning in. Y'all take care. Take care.